good afternoon good evening good morning to each one of you can you hear me guys just write in the chat yes box. you are very audible okay great 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 so we are here to understand what is terraform how does terraform work what are the different objectives of terraform why do we use that infrastructure as a tool for i mean using terraform as our primary tool to provide you infrastructure on different cloud providers right and uh, my name is harshit and i work at one of the companies uh, as a devops engineer and i've been working in the devops uh, engineering for a long time so here i'm associated with the uh, jeet uh joe joe rex technologies and the joe rex technologies have given me a great opportunity to do teach you to let you know guys about the terraform and objectives of terraform terraform infrastructure terraform syntax how does terraform really work and uh, why do we use terraform okay right i think everybody is down and uh, i'll walk through you i'll walk you all of you um, what are the, what are the different topics we'll be covering in our terraform session okay and how terraform would eventually give us a better result that is what uh, sorry harsh can you be a bit louder please we are getting very low uh, your voice just a minute let me put it up now is it good is yeah, it good perfect perfect thank you okay 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 please there are a couple of other people who in the waiting room let me admit them then we'll start with that so uh, how many of you really know terraform or do you or all of you are amateur or amateur in this field or you are from the devops no, no. Now, can you please all of you guys can no, no. or no, no. okay i have to mute it because otherwise uh, you guys uh, what you think i can understand how many are there anyways so <laughs> it's important uh, for me to know that how many of you are really interested in terraform and how many of you really know about terraform or is it the first time that you're hearing about the terraform or terraform is it like a uh, new thing for all of you just a basic idea we have just a basic idea okay and also one uh, one question like do, does it require any development knowledge uh, to learn this or require development knowledge it just requires a better understanding of how development really works okay you do not need to be well versed or erudite in any other developing languages however if you know basic or i, I should not be saying basic it just uh, an understanding that's it okay will be more than enough okay and it is not up to me how i decide your future in the terraform So it's up to you how much practice you do, how much time you're gonna give it to yourself and the Terraform. That is going to decide how much you know about the Terraform later after the sessions. Okay, I can only teach you the uh, fundamentals, concepts, and understanding of how Terraform really works, and give you better examples. Okay, but it is not absolutely not in my hand. None of, I mean, nobody in this world can tell you or walk you through or hold your hands and walk every time in Terraform. Okay. it's a, it's a bitter truth but you have to accept okay but all the topics will be covered all the essential uh, critical parts which we which we will be analyzing will be covered and that will be more than enough okay cool any more questions anything you wanted to ask you can ask me in the chat box i cannot reply to each one of you via voice call is that fine now just let me present my screen do you see my screen all of you yes sir uh, we can see uh, but your voice is still uh, low now i mean can you please put your mic near where you now it's fine is it good now uh, yeah thank you yes, fine. okay jo your rex technologies jo dress technologies so <clears throat> the topics and i wanted to know that how many of you really well versed in terraform sorry uh, in any of the cloud technologies or cloud providers or cloud platforms such as azure uh, aws uh, 
the digital ocean or Google platform or GitHub, whatever. How many people know? Is there anyone who is still struggling with? Do you like? Do, I I believe that uh, you guys already know uh, these cloud platforms and you have worked on these ones. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's that's absolutely fine. Because without this uh, knowledge, uh, it will be very hard. Okay, it won't be hard, but it will be. Uh, you have to put a little much. Uh, uh, your your endeavor will be. Uh, your endeavor should be better than the others, and then only you will be able to understand the things. If you are not uh, aware of AWS or Azure or any any cloud platform, okay. So you should not be oblivious to these all technologies before you jump to Terracon, right? So uh, first thing first, I'll be doing all the steps on AWS cloud platform. Okay, that is the provider I have chosen for myself. Okay, but will be more or less same with all the platforms, whether it is at Google, Azure, or Digital Ocean, or whatever you are using. Okay, so it is surprising and teasing to note that Terraform works or Terraform supports more than 200 cloud platforms as far as I know. I'm not sure, but it supports a lot many cloud platforms. Okay, you name it, they have it. For example, they even support a database cloud platform such as MongoDB or MyDB, okay? They have their own cloud platforms where you can put your data or make your data. Terraform does support that. Terraform even support uh, GitHub. Terraform even support uh, your uh, data dog, okay? There are not many cloud platforms uh, Terraform support, so which is why Terraform is chosen or is welcomed by many, many uh, major companies and even small companies, okay? <clears throat> Now the company who has started this and who owns this HashiCorp Terraform, it's an infrastructure tool, blah, blah, blah. It's a basic information about the Terraform. The HashiCorp language is used in all over the Terraform syntax. So which is why it's easy to understand. And the question which was asked uh, just a couple of months back, one of the mates, that is it hard, it is, it is it required to have a development knowledge? Not really, but you know, I don't know if you really have worked on SQL. SQL is a SQL query language, and it's a like you can like, English language. So Terraform is very similar to kind of English language only. Just need to uh, understand some basic syntax, and then you can go forward. But but in order to support DevOps engineer, Terraform has played a very important role here, or HashiCorp has played a very important role. And what is that role? They have provided you a well maintained, organized, efficient documentation for you guys so that you do not need to worry about the syntax you do not need to worry about or memorize <clears throat> any command they have everything in the document you just need to go on the google search for a particular resource or services whichever you want to develop or provision for terraform and there you go and you have all the information you just need to use a basic logical analytical skill and there you boom out okay that's it that's all about terraform okay now, <clears throat> what we're going to study in Terraform, what are the topics we'll be covering Terraform? There are like multiple Terraform topics available, uh, will be available in this coming sessions. However, this is a demo, so I'm going to walk you through uh, what are the different topics I will be covering, okay? Uh, <clears throat> in Terraform, <clears throat> it's not hard to understand anything or uh, everything, or whatever you say, okay? But it is important to keep practicing keep practicing understanding how Terraform really relates things when you develop an infrastructure on any cloud platform, right? For example, if I ask you, if I say about AWS, so you should be knowing AWS first, then you jump on Terraform. For example, for instance, if any one of you or um, some quite a few people know already AWS, right? So if I would say to you, you do not need to go on console and you're supposed to build the infrastructure through your command line or through your local system. Many will, many will resist that because people think that doing, performing or developing the infrastructure on command line is difficult. It is not. Rather, it is very simple, flexible, and easy to understand. Okay. For example, for instance, why do we use Terraform? That's the first question everybody thinks, okay? For instance, if I take the example of AWS, in AWS, we have a service called EC2 instance, right? And 
is easy to instance for other people who have worked on different cloud platform and easy to instance like developing a machine on AWS, right? So, hi, Harsh, your voice is not coming. Can you? Please? I don't know what is happening. When I pull it up, it goes down every time. I have to like, I'll, I'll hover this mouse here only. Now, so in AWS, we have a service called EC2 instance. And EC2, for example, for every one of you, uh, an EC2 instance is something which you, uh, through which you create a machine for your, for your infrastructure, right? And that machine, for example, if you're creating a machine, uh, for if you're creating a machine and that machine takes the creation time of that machine takes two minutes or three minutes or whatever is there okay that thing or that particular machine via control is taking three minutes of yours okay eventually if your manager if your devops team devops your department asks you you need to create similar Okay, you need to create similar hundred more machine. Are you going to jump onto the console and type or keep creating the machines one by one? Okay, so how much time will it take? Three into one machine is taking three minutes and hundred machine will take how many minutes? It will, it will make your life hell and the DevOps department will make you, will always poke you or keep you pressurizing to develop machines, which is impossible. Okay, practically it is possible, but thinking of developing 100 machine at just one go, it's pretty difficult. Now, Terraform plays an important role here. It gives you the flexibility and authority that you can develop multiple machines. I'm just giving you a very small example. Okay, multiple machine within just five minutes or four minutes or whatever is there, but it will be relatively very, 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 very low, extremely low. Okay. Getting my point? So here is the difference which, which is created by Terraform. However, there are other tools are available okay, in the market which also do the same thing which the, the Terraform does. But Terraform supports more, sub, Terraform supports many, many cloud platforms. And on top of it, understanding the Terraform is not very complicated. Okay, it just needs a little bit of practice and analytical skills, right? Getting my point? Yes, sir. So, <clears throat> so uh, let's just, uh, I'll give you, a, I'll show you how Terraform documentation looks like. For example, if I'm creating an EC2, you just need to write EC2 instance. It will take by the Terraform itself. And here you go. So this is a Terraform documentation. Here you have all the available resources, okay? Resources in Terraform here means the services which you will be standing or which you will be developing on your cloud platform, okay? Since I have chosen the AWS and most of the time people choose as AWS and I'm not saying that Terraform does not have the capability to, not to support Azure or DigitalOcean, but since Many companies, majority companies using AWS, so which is why every time when you type, I didn't type AWS, I type only Terraform EC2 instance. It has taken me to the resource AWS instance. Why? Because the Terraform itself thing, since most of the companies work on AWS, so this guy is also searching for AWS. Okay, but in your case or in someone else's case, you can you need to, you might need to type Azure, okay or GitHub, or DigitalOcean, or Google Cloud, right? <clears throat> so, a resource here in Terraform means it's just only the service, okay? It's just only the service. But I'm gonna walk you through how documentation really looks like. Uh, this gives you a basic syntax of Terraform, easy to instance, okay? And you have an argument and parameters to pass. So, if uh, like, for example, you go to the console of AWS, okay, and then you check the information, you select the instance type, and then you go for uh, security groups, and then you go for uh, key management, and then you launch the, launch the EC2 instance. 
in the same way you have to do here but you're going to write it down you, you have to prepare a syntax you have to prepare a whole template for the terraform so the terraform would be knowing what are the different arguments you need to pass okay however this time it won't be console and it supposes all the basic arguments or more than a basic basic arguments you name it they have all the arguments whichever you pass on the console okay and they all they even give you some of the flexibility such as timeout delete creation blah 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 now if <clears throat> if your manager asks you okay okay uh, if manager if your manager asks you you need to delete all the 100 machines whichever you have developed so far by today itself so it will be very difficult for you guys to delete every machine although you can select there is a checkbox you can select all the all the machines by just one check checkbox right but that machine might be connected to some other services too okay so you have to jump on that service too and that service might be connected to other services too right so you have to jump on every service one by one and then only you will be able to delete the resources or the services right however in the case of terraform if you had that template from which you have developed your map of 100 machines will be very easy to delete will be very easy to delete why because you have a terraform command to pass it through which stands itself like terraform destroy and then and then your whole 100 machines with respect to to other services connected to other services will be terminated too right so here is the deal this is the deal which terraform or uh, which that makes a terraform different uh, different from other uh, tools however ansible also works in the same scenario okay but ansible most of the company do not uses because of the syntax or the language or not supporting or troubleshooting or there are uh, dozens of reasons okay so we got to we, we will be covering uh, not the aws services okay but yes the basic fundamentals of terraform of course integrating with the aws services i'm not going to teach you what are the different aws services but i will be telling you how you can develop all those aws services right clear now learning terraform is bit easy advanced terraform we going to cover in the advanced terraform we will be we will cover in the advanced terraform we will be covering about how terraform can work with the different repositories okay what are modules in that how different modules or custom modules or remote modules will help you to not to do so many things at once rather you can create your own modules own resources that will be used for multiple purposes this is also we going to cover in our uh, sessions okay there will be version constraints whenever you develop a module a so called resource there will be a version okay so every time for example there is a resource or if there is a module uh, if any uh, i'll be covering modules later but just suppose if you are creating something okay there will be a version of everything for example for the people who are devops engineer we have a tag system in github okay so in github whatever the repository code is available we always produce a tag for that which means that this is a new version available for this particular repository for this particular code and this should be deployed right in the same case we are also having version constraint which fix your resources for that particular version okay so every time version changes you do not want to change your infrastructure every time okay it will be very difficult suppose you have developed 10 templates and the 10 templates version uh, the very next day or the very next week got changed so you wanted to change the version to no it's not like that okay you have to be stick you have, you need to stick to your versions which you are using okay which you will be using which you are using whatever is there 
okay, or whatever the company uses. Some company uses the older version of uh, uh, Terraform. Okay, why? Because they have developed the Terraform template and at that time they had certain arguments or something, certain modules, which they do not want to change at the time, right? So it will be very difficult, very difficult for them to change everything with respect to version, right? So this is what we call the version constraint. Now, what are modules? Modules, if you would go by English, modules are something which can be used multiple times, okay? That is the definition in IT field, okay? Whenever uh, there is a resource created or whenever there is a code created, we always create a module for that code, which means that I'm not supposed to create this module or I'm not supposed to create this code again, rather I will be using as a module, okay? Here also we have modules, custom modules, remote modules, Terraform modules, and different types of modules. But the basic meaning of module is to have a resource which I will be using for multiple levels or multiple times, right? And then we have a resource targeting. Suppose you wanted to connect your EC2 instance, the load balancer, right? So you are targeting or you are targeting uh, load, you are targeting your machine with the help of load balancer, right? So it's a kind of integration of two services. Now data source. <clears throat> so data source is something which will help you or assist you to get the data from the AWS or any other cloud platform. In AWS, for instance, in the case of AWS, we have different AMI, okay? Some are owned by you and some are public, right? So the public ones are not created by you. Rather those, were, rather, those were created by some other people. So that information you didn't create on your AWS console. However, you need to have the information of that a particular AMI. So you need to know the AMI ID. So how you can get the information which is already developed on AWS. So data source is the way to do it. Data source is the way to do it, to, to get the information, to get the details of that AMI. Okay, that also we're gonna study dynamic blocks. Anything which you, whichever you wanted to change with respect to detailing, with respect to variables, with respect to uh, any other arguments, we have dynamic blocks. So every time you pass the argument, it eventually changes. Okay, with with your with your uh, prospects of services. Okay, which means the services. Your services needs to have different arguments. In that case, we use dynamic blocks. Don't worry about all these things. I'm just giving you a, a small brief, a small introduction, a small uh, <coughs> kind of uh, overview how this really works. Okay, it's a high level helicopter view. Okay, now we'll be covering Terraform commands, of course. Okay, we'll be covering Terraform commands. There are like 10 or 15 commands are there, not to memorize any of them because Google is the place where things are being kept. Okay. As I said, if you really wanted to understand anything, you need to have an understanding of understanding anything. Okay. It's important. So we're going to cover the Terraform commands. Then what is Terraform workspace? And uh, for at this time, for this moment, I can tell you Terraform workspace is something this is my environment. Okay. If any, if any one of your name is uh, Rohit or Mukesh or Rahul, so your environment is different from my one. Okay. But we are working on the same platform called Zoom. Okay. We are interacting with each other on Zoom. Right. So that means that means our environment is different, but we are, but we are working for the same vision, okay? Now, this seems, <clears throat> so you can have your same template for different environments, for different workspace, okay? And one workspace will not be interacting with the another workspace. So it's like a, it's like a uh, boundary you, which you have set up for yourself. This is your plot, this is my plot. However, we do agriculture stuff, okay? We do produce seeds, we sow seeds and we do produce uh, uh, vegetables from those seeds, but our boundaries are different. Okay, so that's how Terraform uh, 
creates a difference uh, between working environments. Okay, do you guys hear me? Hello, I don't know. Am I speaking? Yes, to yes, you are audible. Okay. Yes, sir. okay, great. And then modify configuration. So modify configuration, it's like a general term. Okay, there is no such topic. It's a general term. In the Terraform, we have multiple files. For example, uh, for instance, I, I would name a few of them. It starts with the main file, backend.tf file, providers.tf file, uh, output.tf file, and providers.tf file. Okay, these are the main five files. Okay, some company uses that two or three, uh, only three, uh, they use only three files. Some people use five files, depending upon the situation and how they are good at Terraform. But I always recommend people to use different files for different purposes, like the way I named providers. In the providers.tf file, it's <clears throat> there you keep your provider's name. For example, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the privilege of using the provider called AWS. Okay, so my information related to AWS will be kept in providers.tf, right? So modifying the configuration here means that whatever the configuration which you have set up for yourself for your Terraform to interact with your AWS Cloud Platform is only the configuration, okay? For Azure or for uh, GCP, you need to do the same thing. For AWS, we have call, we call this AWS CLI, okay? For GCP also, you have a command line which you need to install, and then you have a secret key and access key which you need to configure, and then only Terraform will talk to your Google Platform. So Terraform uh, would not be imagining this, there is a uh, AWS which I have to be connected with. No, you have to tell Terraform to connect with the AWS platform. So how this AWS or GCP Azure platform will talk to the Terraform on your local system. This will, your AWS Azure or GCP should have a user, right? We all have a users on AWS Azure or GCP and that users have their own access key and secret key. Those access key and secret key will be put in your local system. And those access key and secret key will be used by your Terraform. Okay, AWS CLI or whatever is there. Okay. And that's how Terraform will talk to your, will talk to your respective provider, right? And then we will be understanding the infrastructure, okay? In the case of this, the infrastructure or the syntax, it should say, this is the syntax. We'll be understanding how this syntax really works. Okay, what are the different variables? What are different input variables? For example, if this is a string, if this is a Boolean, or this map, or object, list, or set, or tuple, you name it, they have it. Okay, but all these come naturally, gradually. Okay, these, uh, these things won't be able to do in the span of uh, 15 hours or 20 hours, okay? You need to be very much passionate, disciplined, and punctual towards your towards your accomplishments, towards your goal, towards your vision, right? Now, Terraform state, this is a very tricky part, a very uh, interesting too. Why? Whenever I take interview, I always just ask this question uh, from, the, from, from, from the other mid who sits for the interview. Terraform state, so why did Terraform think of a state? That's the first thing which I always ask. And why Terraform state needs? So state file in the Terraform means that suppose uh, we are a DevOps department, right? And multiple people are working together. You guys are a DevOps engineer, I'm engineer too, okay? And we are working for a big infrastructure very big infrastructure, extremely big infrastructure, a mammoth, a gigantic infrastructure, which will which will uh, take us to the mass, okay, right? So we are collaborating together. We are working together for this, for this joy, right? I always see everything as a joy, okay? Now, Terraform think that if everybody will stop talking to Terraform AWS provider, okay? So you guys are also working. I'm also working on the same Terraform template. We are also creating, we have, since we are creating a vision, which is common to all of us. So Terraform thought this will be very difficult because everybody will be working simultaneously, parallelly to each other. And now this will be a conflict. 
So you are pushing something else. I'm pushing something else. Okay, you are creating something else. I'm creating something else. So there from that thought that we should be organizing this in such a way that if someone is using Terraform template, if someone is creating a Terraform template and other person is also using the same template and integrating some other services too, it should not, it should not disturb each other workspace or each other environment. So they block the status, they block the status of one person while other person is actually working. Despite the fact, despite the fact that you guys are working for a common vision. However, ye, however, this is this is important for the Terraform to take care. Okay. So, which is why we have Terraform state. And then we have a life cycle rules. Life cycle rules means, as I said, uh, life cycle basically means that there is a cycle for every life. Okay. You have a life and I have a life. We have a cycle and that cycle ends. Okay. Now, I do not want to end that cycle. Oh, I wanted to complete that cycle. I want my resource not to get updated. I wanted to end his life cycle. I wanted to use the same state, same performance, same configuration, same variable, same argument, same parameters, right? So in that case, we have, we have life cycle. Getting my point? Other than this, we have Terraform variables, okay? In Terraform template or in any uh, developing language, variables are surprising containers or elemental containers where you put your values and that values you keep in a box and that value is used by some other, some other code or language. Same fashion is used in Terraform 2. Nothing different and nothing complicated. Okay, carrying the point. Now <clears throat> there are other things. First of all, you you guys tell me. Let's just engage to each other. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you even copy me? Uh, do you even uh, like uh, uh, understand what I'm saying? Uh, comprehending what I'm what I'm trying to explain, you guys? Yes. yes okay. Only one yes I got. <laughs> Out of 66, anyway. Yes. Okay, great. So uh, we will be deploying the resources to AWS. That's the cloud platform I have chosen for myself. Okay, but not be very uh, difficult for other people who are working on different cloud platforms. Okay. And then we will be having uh, all these commands are the Terraform commands, plan, apply, destroy. We will be understanding why Terraform needs all these commands why we have uh, different commands to create the infrastructure and then we have a import and trading resources if in case you wanted to import something in case you wanted to export something then we have that uh, area as well then terraform cli i'll be I'm telling you how you need to work upon the cli kind of thing okay and then terraform cloud enterprise level is pretty much different from your workspace and my workspace, or you can say at an individual level, that company takes care of once you're, if you're employed somewhere, the company is the one who is gonna uh, takes care of the enterprise level. You're not gonna be going much deeper because it's just a premium level and there is no such difference, okay? CDK for Terraform, as I said, we'll be uh, configuring the Terraform, we'll be attaching in our local system and then uh, how Terraform talks to the Terraform, uh, cloud platform, we'll be doing that. Terraform registry publishing, suppose you wanted to register a module or, or any resources, you wanted to contribute or collaborate with the Terraform registry publishing that you can also do. And then Terraform integration program, which I've already discussed you. Network application, I've already discussed you. Automate Terraform, yes, there's a, there's a chance to automate the Terraform, but we do not do so, okay? And there is no such word called automate Terraform, okay? Otherwise, it will be very difficult for any company to comprehend the Terraform automation, okay? Policies with the senator, and there is also one topic, Terraform grant, okay? Terra grant. So 
these all will be covered okay one by one slowly slowly and uh, the session would be approximately 15 to 20 hours okay depending upon your capacity and uh, your ability to understand the thing is faster and an optimum level and it also depends on your potential okay till now any doubts and queries and understanding which you have not understand or anything which uh, bounced on your head uh, hmm? yes can you repeat the terraform state again terraform state yes. you wanted to you want me to go into deep or you want me to go into the surface level no no not not on the deep okay so terraform state state file we have a state file that stands for the tf state file okay so there are a couple of reasons the first reason or the main important reason is to not to have a conflict okay or to keep the data safe or to make a blueprint of your terraform template okay whatever you have uh provisioning or whatever you are provisioning or whatever you want to develop so terraform what they do they create a blueprint of everything suppose you are working on a, uh, on, a, on, a on a user okay you have a profile in AWS. So that also is mentioned in the Terraform state file. Okay. It also have a log file. It also have providers, but this Terraform state file, you have two ways of keeping either in your local or wherever you wanted to keep. You can keep it in the AWS or you can keep it in the Azure. However, companies, what they do, they always keep the state file into their cloud platform. Why? Because if I lose, if I if I skip the company, if I if I resign the company, then the other person should also be having the same state file because that other person is gonna resume the task, right? So there are these are the important reasons. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Any 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 anyone else? So we can keep this file on GitHub, right? State mm -hmm. file. Yes, we can. Uh, which file? Uh, the state file, Terraform state file. No, why would you keep the Terraform state file in GitHub? Although you can keep it, but we don't do it. I never did it. Okay, okay. See, uh, we have, see, it depends upon uh, the Terraform template. If Terraform support, then why not? Okay, so which file we have to keep on cloud? Or See, most of the companies, most of the company, what they do, they have a, they have uh, services where they keep it. Why? Because they wanted okay. to keep it. State file is important, now. Nah? State file should be uh, classified. You cannot give to every person the state file. Right, right. It's actually maintained on S3 for the AWS and blob storage for Azure. Right, right. Absolutely, hundred uh, percent. For and the for, for the logging, we use a Dynamo DB with S3, uh, mm -hmm. and blob storage is actually used uh, and without anything. It logs right. automatically. So basically, what happens? S3 bucket keeps your state file and DynamoDB is another service in AWS. It clocks that file. Suppose you and I are working together. You are working on the same platform. I'm also working on the same platform. You are also in the same template. I'm also working on the same template file. Okay. So Terraform will get confused, which should be infrastructure, which should be provisioned first. So what it does, as I, as I already told you, it blocks that status first. Okay. My status will be blocked and then the Terraform state file will be released. Your status will be open and then it will be released. Okay, so that's how it works. And does Terraform support on-prem as well? On-premise? Yeah. No, I never worked on, so I do not know if it supports on-premise or not, but I sign only cloud platforms, nothing more. Okay. Anything else? Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Yes. Yeah, actually that uh, state file, it, it created automatically, right? Which file? state file no you i mean it doesn't create automatically you have to run certain commands then only it creates yeah yeah that's what that's that one yeah, yeah. after that after plan and apply then it will automatically create it right hmm oh yeah Having one query who has uh, not good knowledge of uh, a scripting language who can learn terraform uh mind if you repeat that again please having one query who has not good knowledge on uh, a scripting language like uh, a scripting whatever windows a scripting language who can learn terraform easily or not yes they can learn the terraform easily no issues no big deal as i said it's important to practice hard there is no other way okay for that we also learn the azure out of the box thing like uh, how to create the services I mean, if you're working on AWS or Azure or GCP, whatever the providers you are using, you okay. 
you need to be uh, well versed in that before you jump on terraform okay sir thank you even if you're not even if you're not uh, you can go along with the terraform but that way you have to uh, push a little harder okay thank you thank you okay anyone else and yes uh, there's also one more thing which i wanted to mention here and let you know it goes now that uh, it's uh, very much demanding in the market and companies need the terraform uh, developers and they wanted to have the people who can develop the infrastructure in just one go they don't want to waste their time for the people who are struggling with the terraform sorry with the infrastructure okay that's also one of the reason if you have your resume terraform mention you that's boom that's a shot anything else anything else no sir. hello okay cool so uh, <coughs> yes you are able to hear me sorry a able to hear me yeah, yeah i can hear you go on okay yeah the thing is that uh, so what is the difference between terraform and ansible because more or um, less uh, both should be working at similar right so when, uh, i mean no, uh, uh, see there are similarities but the, so did you learn the concept in the mathematics concurrency and similarities <laughs> so eh? concurrency there is a term called concurrency and uh, similarity in, in maths we have a ge uh, geometry we were supposed to uh, we were having two triangles and we we were we were need to know how we I were did in past uh, 10 years back i'm not sure <laughs> oh, sorry sir so, so i'm just giving yeah. i'm just giving i'm just giving a reference how okay. you can refer to that one so terraform is an infrastructure as a tool however ansible does support infrastructure support but that is a configuration tool that is a configuration tool for example if you wanted to have the same configuration on different machines on your premises okay ansible what it does it takes all the keys from different machines put it in one master machine and there whatever you run in that master it will eventually develop everything on other hundreds of machines so that is the way of handling or using the ansible and why people do not use ansible to configure or to develop or to provision the infrastructure because it takes a little time the configuration is pretty much complicated i won't say complicated but messy and there is another thing uh, since terraform has given you much uh, a space where you can have a documentation which is very clear see the best part of terraform is the documentation is very clear okay so which is why this is what i have understood so far after experiencing terraform the documentation is very clear so which is why people use terraform However, similarity is there, but they are not similar, but they are not same. Okay. So in terms of the deployment and all, we do have an option called uh, an AWS, I mean, uh, in Ansible also uh, called as in uh, modules and uh, some of the other stuff also, right? That we can those, create those, these scripts and all. I got it. I got it. I understand your point. But those modules are pretty different from the modules which you're having in Terraform those modules are the script small small playbooks okay which you use in your major playbook right am i wrong or right yeah that's right yeah so uh, i mean this is i mean the terraform that you are uh, uh, clearly pointing with uh, that kind of deployment or any kind of uh, new services uh, in places kind of stuff not no. more than that right no, 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 we don't say Terraform deploys. Terraform only provision the infrastructure. In your infrastructure, on your infrastructure, things get deployed, okay? And that part is paid by Jenkins. And before that, to configure your machines, that part is played by Ansible. And to stand up your infrastructure, that part is played by your Terraform. And to have the code, that part is played by Git. And to have your code to be containerized, that part is played by container or Docker. Got it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, anything else from anyone? So uh, I think I'm done from my side. Okay. 
if you guys have any questions or doubts and queries or whatever the problems or even if you have something in your mind which you cannot discuss right now uh i can share you the number there's a number which you need to you need to talk to that jeet jeet are you there yeah you can share my number jeet are you there so what is the duration and uh, only the terraform topics that you covered or uh, cloud also it will cover no 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 i won't be covering the cloud otherwise it, it will take uh, uh, ages to cover terraform okay so all together 20 hours that you told right uh, yes 20 to 20 hours it should then uh, weekdays right or sorry is it weekend or weekdays that you guys i mean i was uh, told to have on weekends but uh, let's see how majority turns out and what are the expectations okay and uh, jeet is the one uh, jeet uh, can you please let these guys know what are the duration and timings and procedure and uh, filing of the uh, process whatever is there jeet are you there jeet do you hear me customer let me let me message him. so uh he's not uh i'm going to pass this information to you guys i'm 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 stopping this sharing okay now i'm going to pass this information to you I've sent in a chat box. Everyone, sorry. Uh, are we going to cover only AWS, or uh, what about VMware uh, with the Terraform, Azure with Terraform? I will be covering the Terraform, and the provider supporter is AWS. No, only AWS. Now, what about Azure and VMware? I I can only tell you the documentation. I can only tell you that this is the syntax which you need to perform while you are working on Azure or any other cloud. But it will be very difficult for me to cater every single cloud. Someone is working on uh, Azure. Someone is working on GCP, and someone else is working on something else. So I cannot uh, give the same example again and again and again and again for different or hundreds of uh, cloud. No, at least at least you can take one to cover take uh, two sessions. Like Azure is also important to. Uh, to the automation with the Terraform. Hmm. That I will discuss with Jeet, but not sure. Okay. Okay. So training cost and all all thing will be uh, provided by Jeet. Ha! Huh, I am the one who is appointed by Jeet, so he is the one. He is the man. I'm not oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Kisi ko koi doubt? And there are some guys from outside India. I see one guy. Who is this? A W A. Gabriel. Gabriel, where are you from? Are you from Romania? You know? No, I'm from Nigeria. Sorry. I'm from Nigeria. Okay. Any doubts, queries? Which one? Hey. So, uh, I think I'm done from my side. Okay. and uh, i have already shared the information to you guys that you can connect with that person okay and uh, he will be letting you know um, the procedure or the fees or whatever is there okay cool theek hai that's it thanks for your time thank you one more question ads yes yes sorry yeah yeah uh, so thing is that um, i mean any kind of scenarios also that you are going to cover because uh, <coughs> these are uh, kind of topics right no i will be covering the scenarios too okay that is for sure i will be telling you how you can like the project not so integrating all the tools in the project but yes giving a brief or understanding how the project will look like when you provision the infrastructure from the data Okay. 
Anything else? Okay, I am taking a leave now and I hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Enjoy with your family, groups and people around with you. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank Take you. Care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Take care. Thank you.